Hi everyone. So we're going to do a bit of an experiment today uh, on cooling an Asus router with an external fan. So I've got an Asus RT-AX88U, uh, as you can see here. I happen to run Merlin firmware, but I don't think that makes much difference. So I want to see if I can cool the temperature of the main CPU and the Wi-Fi chips with some external uh, cooling. And then if that works, that will lead on to a, a build of something more uh, specific. So if you just look Log into the Asus router on with the Merlin firmware. You can see the temperature of the chips and how that changes over time. So you can see here my 2.4 Wi-Fi chip is 48 degrees, my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip is 49, and the CPU is 71. The ambient temperature in the room where I've got my router is about 19 degrees, 19.6 degrees Celsius. Uh, but if this router is was under more load or the ambient temperature was higher, this can start to climb and I've seen this in the 80s in terms of degrees now that's all within spec according to Asus I don't think the chip will start throttling until about 100 degrees C but high temperatures will generally just shorten the life of the chip and therefore means you've got to replace the router so I've got myself this uh, cheap desktop fan it's something I had lying around it's only 80 uh, 83 84 millimeters diameter in terms of the fan blade and I'm just going to stand this next to the router uh, pointing slightly down just to get some airflow over it. The optimum position is probably underneath and pushing the air up through the vents that are underneath this particular uh, model of router and just see how the temperatures change. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that on and then we'll watch to see if the change uh, happens quickly and how much uh, of a temperature we can get in terms of a reduction. Okay, so I've switched the fan on and you can see it's already gone down to 71 degrees, hovering at 72. So I'll let this run for a few minutes and uh, I'll speed up the video so we can see uh, rather than you wait around just to see uh, what happens to the temperatures. Okay, so after one minute, we're down from 72 to 68. Uh, so let, let's run for a few more minutes and just see how low that can go. Okay, so after five minutes of running, uh, it's gone down from 72 degrees to 63 degrees uh, for the main CU, CPU, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz chips has come down slightly, but the main impact is on the, the main core CPU. I'll leave that running for a few more minutes and just see how much more that comes down. Remember the, the fan is not in the optimal, optimal position. It's just kind of blowing air across the router rather than blowing in through the main vents or uh, pulling the air out of the main vent. So if this, has, uh, if this gives us some good progress, um, then putting a fan in an optimal position, I think will give even better cooling. But let, let, let's let this run for a few more minutes and see there we go. Okay, so the fan's been on now for just 10 minutes and it's reduced the CPU fan temperature from 72 degrees Celsius down to 58. Um, and again, the the fan is just a cheap fan. Uh, it's not in the optimal uh, cooling position. And, um, you know, we take 14, 14 degrees off the temperature of the CPU. That's got to be a good thing. It's got to increase the, uh, the lifetime of your overall Asus router. So I think what I'll do is I'll think about designing um, some kind of stand for the router uh, with a, a better performing fan uh, blowing up through the router, uh, through the cooling um, ducts underneath and uh, and see how that performs. Anyway, I hope you found the, uh, the video helpful. Oh, there we go. It's just dropped down another degree. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it um, if you did please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video take care everybody